All right. Let's get a close up of my gnarly nails. I'm going to be using this Coley Race, this brown one right now to do some sketching. This was the pencil sharpener I used. Let's turn it this way for you. It's pretty decent. Does what it needs to do, right? <clears throat> Thank you for the kind responses for the uh, previous video. It's got me inspired to to try some more. Does that sound okay? Let's see if I can get some more light in here. All right, so. Again, I don't have a game plan. I just want to be loose and just draw loosey-goosey gestures. And uh, let's hear. Let's try to draw some, like a bigger type of figure, maybe Batman. Um, whenever I think of Batman, he's doing like, you know, I guess like any kind of characters or superheroes, they do some pretty dope poses, right? So I try to think, how can he look the toughest in his poses? Um, it's kind of hard to pull off. He's got such a cool frame. But then, at the same time, I guess you could make him look like a ballerina. But you want to try to find some elegance but powerful pose at the same time. So, let's see here. I'm going to think of something like he's leaping, you know, off of a rooftop. But but maybe using his arm to propel himself. Okay, that's just the thought for now. Let's see if it actually works. All right, so so basically I try to figure out, you know, the motion, like where can he get the most motion? And I try to do it where it's a moment of when something's actually happening. Um, it doesn't always work out, but let's see what happens here. All right, so let's say for instance, I always try to keep in mind to twist the body up, you know? So let's see what we can do to twist them up, make them feel pretty cool. And I think just by rolling the shapes back It'll start creating some pretty cool type of foreshortening. Sometimes I feel like I get in a rut drawing the same pose. So it may start out almost like the same pose, but then when you do overlays, you start seeing things differently because not being able to see the full pose through the paper starts letting your eyes, you know, try to see other type of stuff happening. All right, so I'm going to think of weight, right? So if he's pushing down right here, Technically, your shoulder would go up, but we're gonna make him look tough, like he is already in mid-movement to us, so that's gonna stay down, okay? For me, I try to make sure that the, the arms, even the legs, are doing different type of posing. It's not always easy to pull it off, but if you keep working it and whittling it, it makes the pose much more interesting. Okay. He's got this cape. So you wanna make sure that you keep it a cool silhouette happening, but not covering up too much of the cool body aspect. All right. So I don't want to overdraw this sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper on top of it. I might have to grab another sheet. I'm not sure if I can see all the way through it. Um, let's see. That could actually work out. Let me grab another sheet of paper. All right. Sometimes, you know, you can't see through the paper. So what I do is I try to put another sheet underneath. Now you can see the pose a little bit better, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the paper. And like I said in the previous video, sometimes when I do the roughs, I don't keep placement in my mind, um, you know, very well. So here we go, let's flush it out a bit. Now Batman, what makes Batman? You know, like I said, he's got some cool posing, it's his framework, but what's cool about him, like, 
to make them feel like super dope for me you know uh in my eyes he he's got these angle angle angles or angular shapes right so keeping some shapes angular twisting up his body and then twisting his his bottom back here so that's gonna be his belt and so what I was doing back here was his leg right and his other leg coming here so again it's not always easy to pull off but we can do to make it feel different it's like one's more foreshortened than the other but you see I'm trying to get this little motion here having him look down so that it keeps the whole motion going Let's see here. Can you see the hand there? Maybe I'll start taping stuff down instead. We'll see. Okay, so again, easy way to make it feel different without having to go cuckoo about changing up all the limbs is to just find a way to foreshorten it better. So this leg placement's not in a good spot. See, it's gotta still connect. It's long, but it's a good cheat. Because who knows, you could say, oh yeah, that leg's going further away from the camera. So it still plays up. Let me go up here like that. There you go, can you see that? All right. All right, so now I don't need that under pose anymore. I'm just gonna flip that over. See if I can refine it just a little bit more. So I guess now we could add his hand on the ledge. So what you wanna do is you wanna to try to find a good way to distribute weight um, because he's moving forward. You know, technically his hand should probably be down here because you want to keep the hand lined up to the center of your body. But I guess it'll all depend on the perspective that's drawn, right? So maybe I could push it a little bit more. There we go. So just by a slight adjustment, it helps out. So um, to ground the pose basically. So what I like to do too, is I like, sometimes I'll come in and I'll start drawing my little shapes. It's to check me, make sure my my form is going in the right path. So you can see I'm keeping the same type of design element in the pose, which is sharp angles where I can find the sharp angles. So he's a little contorted here. Might be a little too much, but you know, it's just a drawing, right? Let's see which way is the better way to show you. There you go. All right, so now let's get his cape. His cape is a cool element to show motion too. So I'm trying to keep his head going the same motion as his body here. doing this I was drawing like a little bit of perspective there just to kind of ground him so again you don't want to cover up his whole body he's got a cool body shape all right so that's that's about it okay thank you again for joining me and I hope to do more and hope you uh, hopefully you guys dig it. Let's do my thing that I see everybody do. I think it has a cool aesthetic when you put that pencil right in there. It shows, yeah, I drew it traditionally. <laughs> a buddy of mine, he, uh, he got on my case, he goes, dude, stop putting the pencil in there. You tell me, should I leave it? Or should I take it out? All right guys, talk to you later.